Hi everyone, right, we're going to be doing a tutorial tonight, don't know if anybody will remember this and I always said I would come along and show you how I uh, put something like this together, it was just a, I've never seen it before um, and I created it a long time ago, so what we're going to do, I've got two frames, these are larger, our own picture now they've got to be sturdy type of frames face them together because you've got to have the same um, width and I'm just marking mine out so if we do one here one on this side I'm eyeballing, eyeballing it you can mark it out if you want to like that keep them straight uh, if you've got one of these croc um crocodile crocodile i think they're called um, and then just get that in the center best you can and put your holes in if not just use a skewer or something something sharp There we go. And then the last one, uh, because we are going to use a ribbon to uh, fasten this up. Now I don't have to colour mine, but you can if you want to because mine is already coloured pink and it's a perfect colour that I'm after so I don't have to do anything to it but you can emboss them using embossing powders or whatever it is you want to do what I have got for mine so my pitch is going to go sorry that's how it's going to open okay and my pitch is going to go in here like that and then um, this fabric is going to be on that side it's just for decoration so what we're going to do is first of all put the picture on now it has got a backing on it but I want to keep the backing on that I've got lots of trims pink and cream embellishments we've got some ribbon um, and a bit of bling but first of all we're just going to attach the picture now in order for me to do that and get it straight I'm going to do it that way and hopefully my glue gun will be ready and we're just going to attach the glue there and then I'm going to line this up I got that right that's how my picture is going to go don't get it wrong fee come on like so that should be enough for what I want this is our own picture that we had designed and um, all you need to do is to pull that back Let me drop that down. It only has to stretch across it, that's all. I will be putting a new backing on that. So I'm not fussed about that at all. It's got the picture in where I want it and it looks quite pretty. So that's that done and then what we have to do next is to put on the fabric in the same way. So I'm just going to get the right side of the fabric which is like that. I don't need much. There 
Um, it's just like an embroidered tool fabric. We've used it in lots of projects. I'm just going to cut this end, I think. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is to do the bottom section. Okay, we just need to make sure that that's on there. And then I'm going to stretch it. So I'm going to do that and I need to then cut this so I don't want it too long. I'm just going to pull that over and just stretch it slightly. I don't need to do a lot of stretching in it. Not fussed about this either if it's puckering or anything like that because it's going to be sorted. Then we do exactly the same thing for the sides really quickly because what can happen is that your fabric, uh, the glue on the card can dry pretty quick as it can if it's touching metals. Just stretch that over. You will get covered in glue, but just peel it off. It's uh, not a problem at all. Now I'm just going to trim this because I don't actually need all of this on. Just trim it where I can. This is a great way of displaying your fav uh, family picture. Fav you know, um, if I wanted to do a blue one for my grandson and that. Um, I can do that. It's not going to come undone. Like that. And then what happens is, look, now that look fab. Just something different. So therefore we've got that. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is to use the ribbon. Now I'm using a white ribbon and I'm not fussed about that um, because I can colour it. I'm going to show you how to do that using your uh, pro markers and that. Uh, so hopefully the pink will work. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Now I've got some of this, it's just a, a roll of fabric that I uh, came across at the car boot and it's really handy uh, when you're doing something like this for ribbons. Um, I just picked it up for coppers. But we'll just show you what I mean. So I only need enough to do a bow right now just to hold it in place. I'm just going to glue that down. I can pull that off. Just a quick way of doing something. I don't have my non-stick mat at the moment. Right, so we're just going to add a little bit of pink colour into this ribbon. Okay, I think that will be enough for what I need. There we 
we go. Let's lift that off. Now, I'm just going to scrunch this. We don't need it neat. Like that. I've got my uh, heat gun. And I'm just going to dry that off. It's a very, very pale pink. There you go, quick as that. And these are pro markers, and you can get these online, eBay. Right, so we've got our scrunched up ribbon. Um, now I'm going to use a cord. Oh, now I've got this ribbon. This is the one I'm going to use, I think. This is a florist ribbon. Um, and I'm going to use this to... fasten up this section but I'm going to do it double so that's um, one lot I'm going to work from and that's the next so we're just going to do that double I will be using that again I think yeah I'll use that again maybe So I've probably got a yard um, and a half. That's the centre. I'm just going to crease it so I know where the centre is. Um, and best thing I think to do is to just use my long needle. It's just easier, I think. Okay, now I don't want the tie to tie them at the top. I want my bow to go there. So I'm just going to take my needles off. Um, and we're going to just pull these together like that. Again, let's just pull these down like that. Okay, swing that over. You have to just keep them like that. That's all I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to cut these because they're a little bit long for what I need. I'm just going to double knot them. Thank you. 
and just cut them off. Now when I glue the backing on, these will be left like that and then it'll be just glued over. But they, it does shut and I'm happy with that. I'm not bothered how they look there at all. Okay. Because that just, yeah. It's just to hold those together. Now, let me just see. Because I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous material. You know what? I might just add that on there. But then I know it needs to hide them holes. So I might just go back to using that piece actually. It just has to hide the holes, that's all. I want them to be equal-ish. Okay. That's it. Just cut this a little bit. Flip that over. And just flip that over again. And that will keep this nice and neat. Like I said, they will be Just flip that over. Like that. Just trim that. Yeah, like that. That's how I like it. Now I'm going to use this trim. Because I absolutely love that. Just there. Like I said, I I do love this, um, the colour, so I don't want to spoil that colour too much. Now, the way to do that is to get that, I think, and I'm going to cut that there. And again, one over. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this to one side. Make sure we've got this the right way. Yep. Yeah. Right, so we need to get that as even as possible. Like that. I actually do like that. Swing that around. Because you can do these steampunk, vintage, whatever you want to do with them. And uh, I've chose to do mine shabby chic, elegant. like that I think there we go now don't fuss about anything like that you can glue that down turn this around 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 <laughs> a 
because like I say we're having a backing on this so it doesn't matter as long as that's out of the way and secure like that see that looks really pretty I'm just going to move my scissors a minute Now, this is where I want a little bit of this ribbon. <coughs> and I'm just going to cut a piece of that ribbon. There we go. I may need my needle and thread. So, I'm just going to burnish the end. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. Probably that much will do. Again, just burnish the end. Take your needle and thread. Let's see if we can see the hole today. Like I say, we'll just get rid of a bit of glue. <laughs> Take hold of this. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're just making this into a um, into a double bow. A couple of tacking stitches. Run that down the middle. like that straighten that out try and get the center of that if you look at it like that you should be able to see if you've got to roughly the center and then do another like that couple of wrap rounds and back through the bow now again you're going to need this again because we're doing a smaller one as well oh do you know I'm not too sure whether I will best thing about being a crafter is you can change your mind as often as you like <laughs> I do like these oh yeah that's pretty isn't it so what I need to do is this is just a little bit sticking up and I don't want that but I'm going to put that in the middle like so I'll do that yeah that's fine and then the centre of that um, we've got a nice little flower I think there we've got these I love these vintage ones just like a vintage rose so I'm just going to pop that in the centre like that and what I like about it is we've got three tone pink there now just going to move this a minute and the needle and stand this up because that will need to stand like that okay okay now I was going to put that on but I'm not sure I'm, I, I might do yet I don't know let's just have a look like I said, the best thing about crafting is you can change your mind if you want to. 
I might do that into three. Like so. Right, so we might just bond all these together. Like so. And pop that here. Um, I'm just going to get a new glue stick. And we'll take this flower. Hang on a minute, let me get the glue out. Whoa, look what I've just done. Now that was my mistake. But rub it and it'll just come off. So we're just going to do that. Okay, so we've got that tassel dangling down. Now I'm just going to trim them off at an angle. Because I think that's, I like to see them trimmed off. It's uh, quite nice and it gives it a nice elegant look. A little bit long that one. And that one. There we go. So that's that up to now. I'm just going to see if I can sort that bit out. Um, yeah, I've marked the face, but... I know if you can, yeah, I think we can do it. You need to heat it up. Let me just try this. See that? Heat it up and take it off if you do that. And that should work nicely. I mean, I need to spend a little bit more time on that. But yeah, I like that. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of this on. So we just need to look underneath. So, um, now what I've got is I've got these, and I could, if I wanted to, put them across like that, but you know what? I actually just like them here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It just gives it that bit of decoration. Okay, so we're just going to get that as spot on as possible. Like that. And 
and I'm going to do the both at sides. Like that. See, we've got that. Um, I'm just going to see, because you don't have to paint everything white just because it's, um, you know, shabby chic or something like that. You don't have to do that at all. So here's me others. I'm just going to make sure that these lay properly. Yeah, okay. And then we're just going to do the same on this side. And that sits like that. And then with that, um, now we can use pearls or uh, a trim. I could put a trim along here uh, and I might just do that. I do have some or I could just sit in these flowers or pearl. Let me just look at the pearls we've got. <laughs> I prefer those. I think those are too small. Not those, Leo. Those too small. No, nope. I'm going to use these. There we go. And all it is is double glue in there because they go over it it will glue in it will glue into place like that spin this around just so you don't have to have a boring old frame Make a pretty one. And why not? And you don't have to have loads of materials. I know I could do all this with embossing powders and all of that. But if you haven't got that sort of thing, but you still want to know how to make something look pretty, then you can. These frames, you just buy them cheap. Pound shop or somewhere like that. Might need to just do that again there. Just heat it up and pick it up. It comes off eventually. So, let's have a look now. Because I do have... I've not finished. I might put that there. But I do have this that I could add to that. And it's not enough, I don't think. So I might use this one for a little while. And there's no point in putting this on first because then it that wouldn't stick and it would stick out away from the card I don't want that so all I'm going to do trim this off when I want it
what is that I didn't notice that but look I've got a tear in that but I didn't notice it so um, I do apologize I've just noticed it now unless I accidentally snipped it somehow I'd have to look back on the video strand put the heat gun on it'll get rid of all the glue strands and I do think that looks uh, quite pretty so the way I'm going to finish it off, I think, is to use the same as that around the edge. And uh, we're just going to do it like this. So that's on the edge there to there. Like that. I'm going to take it up to that edge. Like so. Right, now I don't have the card with me, um, but all that's left for me to do is to cover this section. But what I do have, which may look just as nice if the piece is big enough, I'm not sure if I do now actually, I think Billy May nabbed it yesterday. So, oh, I've got a piece here, this might do. So I've got some of this which I absolutely adore and so all I'm going to do I think is to cover the page with this and I think that'll do um, I could could, could, could pop let me just see let me just work this out for this section I mean I could
yeah and then all I have to do is to put um, a binder on that that's all I've got to do with that and it's done you know an edge and there you go very easy I'm just going to glue this in a bit because I'm not happy with that You know, there's lots of things you can do just to, there. And I think one more is a piece of bling because we don't have any. No bling. Oh, what I could do, which I, yes, I might just do that. So let me just get this off. I've just got one of these little flowers that I can take apart. like so right and I'm just gonna because she's got a bow in her hair well I don't have a bow but what I do have is um, that little petal there and then one of these tiny pink flowers to set that off see like that like it's in her hair How's that? Um, I mean, of course, I could go on and still do a few more ribbony bits, like in the corners. I'm not sure if that would make too much. No, it's too much for me. Um, I like things very ba uh, not basic, but very plain. Not plain even, really. But um, hopefully... You like that? Turning two pieces of plain card into something really pretty. Um, and if I really wanted to, um, I could do some squirrely patterns, you know, um, with gold pen or something like that just to brighten that up a little bit more but uh, I'm quite happy with that thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now